Alright, what's going on guys? So, I've recently gotten a comment on the picture you see on the screen about how to do the colored smoke, um, how, how to fi get that final effect on there. So that is what I'm going to show you today. It's not a very difficult a difficult effect to achieve. Um, it is really, really easy. And it's uh, you know, it's something something cool you can do for a lot of things. So first of all, the smoke that I used for this project is um, it's actually a wallpaper I got on, on the internet. Just go on to any wallpaper website, type in smoke and grab whatever picture that you like um, and if you can't find one that you, that you do like you can also use any smoke brushes that you might have in Photoshop I did try it earlier with smoke brushes and it works just the same so if you can't find any wallpapers that you like go ahead and use any any smoke brushes that you have downloaded if you don't have any smoke brushes just go to Google type in free Photoshop smoke brushes and there's plenty of sites out there to get some Get some pretty cool, uh, pretty cool smoke brushes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and drag my background into Photoshop quick, and there it is. Um, some of you might have the guidelines on like that. If you just want to get rid of them, hit Command semicolon. If you're on a Mac, if you're on a PC, I'm I'm gonna say it's Control semicolon. I'm not sure. Um, just a heads up. If I do say any, any keyboard shortcuts, they all they all are Mac related um, but I'm sure there's something out there like that for the PC so um, so that's my background I'm gonna go over here to the layers uh, double click the lock I'll just name this smoke for now uh, we're not gonna change anything here color none mode none uh, or mode normal sorry and opacity 100% uh, we're gonna go over here create a new layer uh, we're gonna hit B for brush and I'm going to call this, uh, let's go ahead and call it colors. <coughs> um, change the foreground color. Let's just do a red right now. Um, I'm going to keep, make my brush size 1100 pixels for this. Um, depending on what picture you, you get or whatever smoke, if you use smoke brushes, whatever smoke brush, um, just, uh, just size it to how you want. Uh, the, the brush I use is the third one over. I like the softer edges on it. So that's what I'm using and again 1100 pixels. Uh, up here mode normal, opacity 100, flow 100. Um, so I changed my foreground color to red. Uh, we'll go up here. I like to double click it um, as you can see between that. That's one click. That's two clicks. It just makes it brighter and bolder. So we go ahead and put red there. Um, we'll come down here and put, uh, let's make it like a light blue. Yeah, that's fine. Um, you don't have to use these colors. Um, these are just the ones that I'm using. And what I like to do is I like to leave a little bit of a gap in here. Uh, I'm just size down my brush quick. I like to leave a gap in here just to. Uh, I just don't like the colors to run together too much while I'm doing this. So okay, let's see. Blue. Let's uh, let's get a green, just a bright green. Put that down here. Double click again. And here, let's use, uh, let's just use a yellow, something, nothing too, uh, too intense. Double click there. So now that we have the colors done, there's just one more thing that we have to do. We have to change the blending mode from normal, I change it to overlay, and there you go, guys. There's your colored smoke effect. Uh, not too difficult, pretty simple. And it's a, it's a really cool effect. You can, use it, you can use it for a lot of different things. So, yeah, guys, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, if I forgot to say something or went too fast, let me know. Leave a comment or send me a private message if you're confused about something. And as always, uh, please rate rate the video. I like, uh, like getting feedback from you guys. Any comments, uh, subscribe if you want more tutorials. And if you want me to do a tutorial for you, uh, just send me a message, and I will be happy to do that. I punch my desk. Um, I will be happy to do that uh, as soon as I possibly can. So that's it, guys. Uh, I hope this was easy, easy to follow. And yep, that's it, guys. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care.